even though you know the clutter in your home is causing you stress and you know it needs to be dealt with, decluttering can be really hard. How do you decide what to get rid of or where to start? How do you clear out those piles of things that are weighing you down? Here are five essential things to remember that will make decluttering your home so much easier. So you know you need to declutter. You've got piles of things on tabletops or shoved into corners and closets. You're wasting time searching for things every day and you've wasted more than enough money buying new things because you couldn't find the ones you already had in all that mess. But decluttering can be tough. It's really hard to clear out that stuff, but it needs to be done and I've got five essential decluttering tips to make the job easier. Number one is to start with small projects for quick wins. Never start decluttering with tough, emotional, sentimental stuff. Instead, start somewhere easier, like the bathroom or the kitchen, which rarely holds sentimental items. Getting these quick wins under your belt in anything, not just decluttering, helps you gain confidence in your abilities and decision-making skills. When you're decluttering, start with small projects, like a single drawer or a shelf. So when you finish it, you feel like you've accomplished something. Then move on to the next small space. Keep doing this until you've had several decluttering wins and then move on to bigger and harder spaces. Number two, think about when you last used an item. When you're clearing out the clutter in your home, think about when the last time was that you used each item. Think about the last year through all four seasons. Have you used this item in that time? If you've not used it in a year or more, chances are you won't need it anytime soon and you can safely get rid of it. Number three, forget about sunk costs. In economics, sunk costs mean that you've spent money on something, but you can't get that money back. This concept can easily be applied to decluttering too, because it can be very tempting to think about what you spent on something and hold on to it solely because of that. But instead, you need to think about the value that item will bring to you or take away from you and your life going forward. Is it currently adding to your life because it's useful or it brings you joy? Or is it taking away from it because it's causing you stress? Number four, Take before and after photos. Much like taking before and after photos of a room makeover, taking before and after photos of a cluttered space is motivating and helps you to see how far you've come. This reinforces the quick wins we talked about earlier and helps you to stay motivated to complete the decluttering. Number five, try out a fresh pair of eyes. If you're struggling to see where you need to begin decluttering, View your home as a first time visitor. Make note of where the clutter really stands out or what you first notice. Or have a trusted friend or family member come over and help you decide what is cluttered and what can be cleaned up right now. When you're decluttering, it can be really helpful to remember that the place to begin is the space that will give you the quickest win. And if you haven't used something in a year or more, you can get rid of it. It's also really helpful to remember that you can't get back all the money you've already spent on something, but that's not a good enough reason alone to keep it. And taking before and after photos of a cluttered space is a great motivator. Also, a fresh pair of eyes, whether you're looking at the space as a first time visitor or a trusted friend or family member helping you see your space differently can really help you declutter. If you like this video and want more ideas and inspiration for how to create a more stylish and organized home you love, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss my new videos.